Hello, welcome to the lobby, GameSpot's weekly hangout every Tuesday at 2pm Pacific, right here on GameSpot.com. I'm very happy to be back in my seat, and we have a bunch of great games coming out uh, this week and the next couple of months. I feel like video games are back after a slow summer. Uh, Colin Kaepernick is going to come on the couch, no I'm sorry, Eric Tay is going to come on and do his best Colin Kaepernick impression with NFL 15. We've got Infamous Second Son, First Light, Third Strike, the first DLC. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Uh, for uh, Infamous Second Son on the PlayStation 4. Uh, I'm going to check that one out. But first of all, I am delighted to be joined by Mr. Michael McMain from Xavier. One of my favorite interviews from E3. Well, thank you for the that. The creator... My favorite interview as well. Oh, was it really? Yes. Okay, let's try to do it again. <laughs> uh, Chris Waters and Kevin Van Oort here as well. Of Hi. course, we're going we're gonna to make it the best interview ever for Lichdom Battle Mage, or as uh, Chris and the rest of our colleagues like to call it. Lichdom Battle Mage. Uh, this, this game, it's out today. It is. Like, officially, officially no more out. alpha, no more beta. Play the whole thing. Uh, how does that feel? You guys have been working on this for quite a while. Yeah, it's a big deal. We're all kind of freaking out a little bit. Uh, before we talk about the game, I want to briefly touch on kind of your story. Because mm -hmm. I've, uh, that's, we talked right before E3 about that's correct. Like, how, how many games you'd worked on. I assumed that you'd worked on a bunch of games because this, is, this seems to be a, a game that's quite mechanically deep and whatnot. But this is your first game. This is Xavier's first game, right? That is correct, yes. It's our first game for the studio and the first game for me as well. So you used to work in a, a totally different industry and then kind of decided you wanted to make a game about badass mages. Yeah, I mean, we were in a position where I had an engineering team that I could kind of do whatever I wanted. Mm. And I said, well, I've always, I'm an avid gamer. I always wanted to play games, so I'm going to make one. What's that's it? what we did. Uh, well, is that like a daunting experience, like coming from? Uh, it was, to be honest. It was a little sobering, I think, yeah. in the beginning. Um, you know, it, it, we knew that we needed to get some experts that had shipped games before, but uh, but it was a it, there was definitely a labor of love involved mm. in this. It, uh, it you know it took us a while to get going and figure out what we were going to do. We spent some time prototyping and started on this about two years ago, and uh, this is our our first thing, and we feel good about it. Fantastic! Yeah, we're all excited. Let's hop right in, uh, Kevin. Oh you've boy. played it a bunch of times on the <laughs> on the, the lobby. I've been on the lobby before playing the game, and I'm I'm gonna be I'm sure I'll be terrible. <laughs> it's 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 just the given. The developers here, so this means I'm gonna look as bad as possible. Your attitude no, is terrible. It's my it's it's the we're thing I do. Right Come it's on, Kevin. <laughs> Chin up. You got this. Luckily, champ. I don't need the health, the shield, so I'm just gonna go right. I on believe past in you. There. Uh, first of all, this is uh, obviously. I think this game makes a really great first impression. It looks gorgeous. Uh, this is Cry CryEngine, right? Yes, it is. That's correct. And this is actually a very, fairly tough area to get through where you're at right here. Right. Kevin always picks the toughest areas. <laughs> uh, Kevin, so what are these gross blocks oh. of goo that you're making? Oh, you got oh, frozen. It's my that's, least favorite thing to happen. That's that uh, bone bolter. He's probably going to shoot you again while you stare at that. So, Lich of Battle Mage is a first-person game where you play as a mage, but you guys have kind of... I guess because you're only playing as mage, you're not like doubling up on anyone else. The mage's role within battle has kind of has changed. You guys have gotten rid of cooldowns and whatnot. That's correct. You know, we just wanted to do something that really highlights magic, and we started by taking away some of the you know the things that typically get uh, constraints that are put on magic, right? Mm. Where you've got cooldowns and mana bars and things, and just make it all about just throwing your power around as much as you can. Um, and I'm sticking nice. already, but. <laughs> This is a particularly tough area, it I is. have to say. It is. <laughs> you just but this that guy. So you got your corruption going now. That's that's cool. I really love corruption. It's my favorite thing because oh, <laughs> god damn. Just generally. Gosh. So I told you I was going to stink. <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> the neat thing about corruption is um, it's about I'll infecting your enemy with mm. parasites. And so depending on how you build your your spell, there's three different ways to build every spell. You've got destruction, which is about doing damage, or control, which is typically about uh, con you know crowd controlling an enemy. And then um, you've got mastery, which is about debuffing them, so you get really huge, mm. big, big crits on them. I gotta and say, I love that getting frozen screen yeah. because yeah. it's not like, oh, the edges of my vision are blue. Yeah. It's like, yeah. no, your eyeballs Everything. are straight up frozen <laughs> over. You can't yeah. see crap. <laughs> uh, and Lishim is a, from my experience playing it, and also from watching Kevin suck real hard on the lobby. Uh, it's a challenging first-person game. It which is surprisingly challenging. I just, sorry, yeah. I, did, I didn't mean to interrupt it. No. I wasn't really expecting the challenge that it became. Uh, I want to yeah. remind the folks at home if they have any questions uh, for, hopefully for Michael, because I feel like Kevin's got his, uh, he's, he's busy enough here. Uh, by all means, put them in the twist shot. Um, I'll be, I'll be pulling them, pull them out of there. So that guy is the guy that was freezing you primarily? When you see those bone bolters with the blue, mm -hmm. that means that their shots are frozen shots. Uh, can we talk a little bit about the the sort of um, 
spell creation toolkit because I found this really interesting at E3. Yeah. Um, instead of there being like straight up just a bunch of trees that you kind of pull from and pour experience into, nice. you guys have went a little bit deeper on your spell creation. Yeah, what we did is we made it so that um, instead of dropping spells that are pre-made or, or upgrades that are pre-made, it's all about dropping the components oh, crap, that you want to use mm. to build your own spells, right? To build in the way that you want to build them. So you've got uh, the basic shape of the spell, which is determines how you're going to deliver it, right? Like this, so like a ball, fire this ball. This is this is a, what we call a missile spell. So okay. it actually has a little bit of a homing, and uh, and then there's other different targeted shapes, like a lob that has no aiming component, throws us a lob and breaks into other has things. Has an AOE or whatever. Yes, and then there's a, a beam. There's a couple of different AOEs and so forth. So you take that shape, and then you take these other components that are called augments that come in the form of destruction, control, and mastery. And those determine how your spell is going to behave. That must have been crazy for you guys to sort of uh, bug test, because presumably there's quite a lot of variation that can happen there. Yes. Yeah, there is quite a number of different, uh, different things, because there's eight sigils in the game, and there's seven different ways to shape them. And then you've got three different ways to build each shape, so it can get... Uh, out of hand. Uh, I got a first question here from Hassan in I'll the Twitch chat. Uh, is there a story in this game? There is. Um, we have a, a story. You basically are playing uh, an individual who the sort of nobility, the dark nobility of the, of the town has put them under your boot mm. and uh, you become freed by some uh, uh, an older mage that gives you these bracers of power to let you exact revenge and then kind of fight for the good of the city. So you guys went in, uh, went pretty deep with voice acting as well in this we bad did. boy. Yeah, we have Troy Baker and uh, Jennifer Hale and Clancy Brown and uh, and, and some others. Is that so. presumably a lot of the stuff that people who has on the early access? Because this has been in, in, I guess, alpha and well, beta presumably mostly uh, for quite a while now. Um, is that mostly what's come out in the full release? The sort of the story is now one straight. Yes. Sort of yeah. Now that we have the whole story in there, um, we've had bits and pieces that have come online as we as we came online with our different uh, stages of the game, and um, we've got uh, we've added quite a bit of depth to that mm. to the story. So. Shall we do? I thought I'd show the yes, the, please. Yeah, the bit. Idea. So one one good place to start, obviously, is synthesis because you can take you you keep upgrading these things. Like you start mm -hmm. with just like white white things and uh, you, you gradually combine those and they become more powerful. Then you start combining those and they become more powerful and there's a, there's a certain element where it's like, hmm, I wonder what this is going to make when I put right. these all together. Mm. And uh, so we can start with something like, uh, like just combining these three. Are you expecting And then that boom, oh, sorry, now we have a, dis a dissolving destruction of precision. It's hard <laughs> to read the TV, but like, so then you get Multipliers and and, and yes, yeah, so you get increased apocalypticals there. That's pretty cool. But another neat thing, if you look at the synthesis, if you go up to one of the blue ones you have there, oh yeah, you'll see that there's uh, go down one to the, that hardened shield, the, the oh, one, one higher. Which one here? Oh here. Yeah, that that there's two. There's actually two synthesis options on that, so you can synthesize that from purple to orange, so you can go up twice on that one. Uh, have you had your community sort of almost having like Try. like cookbook battles where they were creating like different spells and sharing them within the f yes. forms and whatnot. Right. Have yeah. you considered a sequel to the game called Cookbook Battles? <laughs> <laughs> this is why I don't make video games. Yes. Uh, HGP1 is asking about the story. Um, like is it linear? This. Is it open? Oops. Um, no, how long that. is it? Stuff like that. So the approach that we took to the level design is it's they're tailored levels. You have a beginning and an end to each level mm. that you go through. They're, they're crafted in that sense. Um, some of the later levels have some more exploration areas where they kind of open up and you have different paths that you can take. Um, but it's, it's a, uh, we have a sort of a beginning to end approach to the yeah. game. Are you guys going to be um, adding more to it over the next coming months and years? Is this a we haven't we haven't announced any upcoming stuff mm. yet, but uh, we, we're definitely not done. With It'd be a little bit fun funny to spend so much time engaging with your community and adding stuff, and exactly. then suddenly just to cut it off. Exactly, and that's been a big thing for us. Just the the early access has been phenomenal for us. It really helped hone the game. Mm. This is a completely different game just uh, 12 weeks ago. Really? Yes, it looked very, very different back then. Do you imagine that'll continue to be the case? You'll probably yes. tweak and whatnot? Mm -hmm. How do you choose what time to release it? So we had decided that. We knew that two years ago. Yeah. When we sat down, we, we had this date set. Oh, a based years on the ago. date as opposed to. Yeah, we were, we were shooting for the date. Because, you know, when you go to release a game, it's, we don't have a publisher, right? This, mm. is, this is just something that we're doing on our own. 
and it's easy to just keep going forever. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You have to pick a date and then and release it, and so that's what we did. Is that something you've taken from your? It was a nice your, block. Your, <laughs> <laughs> is that a sort of a mentality you've taken from your oh. your, your previous job, yes. sort of applying into? Yeah, this you space. have to have you have to have a constraint that you're yeah. operating yeah. under. <laughs> uh, King of the Den ninety one asks, can you customize your gear? So outside of the spell stuff. Uh, in terms of uh, items and whatnot, mm -hmm. or is that more of a warrior game thing? Yeah, that, so for us, it's all about your magic and the innate, innate power. So everything that's dropping is your spells and your defense. There are no bracers or stabs or robes or anything like that. It's all in your magic. A uh, lot of questions in the chat asking, uh, I'm going to go with Bob Jones 1980, uh, what platform this is on. So this is out on Steam today, on PC. That's correct. Um, you guys looking at consoles at all for this bad boy? So, uh, you know, I'd love to see this on a console. We don't have any specific plans for that yet, but uh, I would definitely love to see Watch that. this space. Uh, Obama Dance asks, great name, uh, <laughs> does it have multiplayer? Any co-op, any competitive? No, right now it's a single player experience. Uh, this we're is going to kill me. You all right? How you doing, Kevin? here. Do it, do it, take it, take it, do it, quick. There you go. <laughs> Kevin, talk a little bit about how you're sort of what what your tactics here are on combat, because so it depends on what I'm facing. Um, sometimes there's just there's just a good old fashioned you know like serious Sam move backwards and mm. and do your best, but that doesn't always work. And sometimes blocking is the better thing. Even for me, when I'm I'm not as block heavy as I think the game wants me to be. Nice. Now his eyeballs are frozen. As you see, like right now I'm a little worried about stuff like yeah, that. that guy. So... Oh, I thought I was dead! <laughs> I was keeping going. <laughs> One thing that I like though is that um, you, get to, you get to keep everything. So, so death is basically just a, you know, go back to the previous point. Right. Yeah. Um, but you get to keep all of the things that you got. Yeah, so if you're having anything. trouble... Um, and it said ice leveled up during that section, so those, those levels up. They stay with you. That's correct. Oh yeah. yeah. Yes, everything. So, if you it, it, not only the loot. Every time wow. loot lands in your inventory, mm. you get uh, it saves the game, and then oh cool. You, and then you your uh, your sigils level as you're doing things. They have different requirements. So it might be kill a certain number of enemies or or that sort of thing. I just yeah. zoomed right through this bit before. It's funny that I specifically didn't take another route because there's another route that's yeah. really hard. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, I'm not going to do that. I'll look like a <laughs> fool. Uh, we're obviously looking at the sort of Arctic Tundra level here. Uh, there's a, a lot of variety as well in terms of the levels. That is correct, right. When you get later in the oh, game, there's, you know, there's a swamp clicker. area, there's a, a desert area, sort of a ruins in the desert that's really, really cool. Uh, you can see all that sort of stuff on um, uh, GameSpot's own coverage and also I know on the Steam uh, page, on the store page, you've got a little trailer there as well that mm -hmm. uh, people can check right. out. Uh, Goopsha Wright asks, is there a limited number of spells you can create, like a max level? Uh, or is it more based on you discovering the sigils and the Yeah, so we, our, our, our loot drops in tiers, and as you go through the game, the tier uh, continually increases. Oh, I um, about and that. we go pretty deep in the tiers in our New Game Plus. We have oh. a New Game Plus experience that uh, after you complete the story, we kind of chain pieces together. Okay. So you do these little uh, different types of missions as you go through facing different types of uh, enemies. Do you expect people to, uh, to do that, to sort of take the character that they've had, or do you think people will sort of start from the start and respec? So we really kind of have, you know, the, an option to do both. If you want to start over again and play something you haven't played, you could do that. Um, you have access to all the oh, sigils, nice. but the way the leveling works, you can only level three of them. Okay. So if you decide to level a fourth, you have to turn one of the other three off, off. and you lose all your levels. Okay. In it. So, um, so there's a, you know, a choice to make. Is there any uh, death to respecking like that? Do you lose any of your XP when you respec, or are you well, it's, it's allowed not to move around? Yeah, it's it, uh, it's all based on tasks that are like kill 30 enemies, kill 80 right. enemies. So you lose that that progress, and you have to go through that again if you decide to, to switch. Let's up, let's upgrade the sigil. <laughs> my favorite thing about doing these. Um, ah. uh, my fa favorite thing about some. <laughs> did you just get God ice damn it! The, the menu. <laughs> You just got smoked. The, the game doesn't that pause the when you go time. into the menu. It, it only pauses no when you go into the system menu. That's thing. correct. <laughs> yeah, no one can your spells in the middle of the See, combat. I saw this coming. <laughs> I saw this coming. The good news is that the worst um, mage ever. Yeah, the good news is that most of the, I don't know. I don't know. Like I, I'm actually starting to sort of enjoy this this challenge because I like having to learn new ways of of dealing with it. The the first boss it was interesting like the first the first point where it was where it really was hard for me is the very first boss mm. um, and it took a little bit of doing because it's one of those bosses where it's just not like okay you're not just dealing with big dude mm -hmm. you're dealing with 
a bunch of ads too. Mm. Minions. And you just come from playing quite a lot of Divinity, so it's almost like I did. You that's just a, got that's a different into kind of game. hard. But and one of my favorite things about doing a, a game where people are, are interested in it is that the questions coming through are so specific. Yeah. I'm gonna go real quick. One word answers on this. <laughs> Sakatume asks, any pet system? Pet system, yes. Okay. Any puzzles, like side quests outside of the main combat? No. Uh, slender, no. Any, uh, uh, is there a lava level? A lava level? Yes. There is lava in a level, yes. Great, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Technically, like it. Watch out for the bowman, Kevin. Oh, I always forget about the bowman, thank you. There's, and there's two of them, I, th I think I got the one though. Excellent. Uh, all right, Kevin. You kill this dude or die. I thought I was almost. Let's there's see if, two. If you, you kill both these guys. The controls and you gotta pop them with your fire. I, well, I was you literally to have the dev He's telling you what to do. Oh. <laughs> the I number one expert on Lichdom <laughs> Battle Mage is sitting right beside you. Cool thing there, as soon as you kill him, oh, oh yeah. he kills you. He's so fast. <laughs> but it, it's funny because I really it. like. I never like. There was a while. If, if I go through that other area, I'll swear. Okay. Oh, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I got so excited. I'm spitting all over the developer. Um, if I go through the other area, I will start swearing because. I'm not it's like true, I like I like using freedom of movement yes. while I play it, and it, it's it's a little bit more confined. So mm, you yes. have to be very careful. Like you get three guys coming on you at once, and you have to kind of get in in, in position mm -hmm. so that you can see all three of them at one time. Because if you don't maneuver right, you've got dudes you can't see attacking you. That know. never goes well in this game. <laughs> Are you doing the review? <laughs> yeah, the I'm working on it now. When will it be up? Yeah, I don't know, because right. I don't know how long it's going to be, but I'm told it's qu it's quite a bit longer than where I'm at. Yes, okay. so. you got a bit to go through. So, uh, but <laughs> awesome. I'm, I've, I've, I'm enjoying it so far, cool. and uh, I enjoyed it in alpha and beta, and it's, it's really good to get back to it. And there's been a lot done. I mean, he's right. I mean, just from my perspective, like mm. the... There's a lot of stuff that's different between night and day. Like this whole interface, all new. Mm, yeah. Like all of that is different just from the last time I played it. So. Cool. So mm. yes, review soon on GameSpot.com. Yeah, Michael awesome. thank you so much. Thank you very much for coming in. Uh, you guys it. have come over, uh, obviously all the way from Georgia mm -hmm. to the West Coast, but you're not just staying here. You're heading up to PAX. Yeah, next we're week, gonna right? be at PAX. We have a big booth there, so you can come by and see us at PAX. Excellent. Lich and Battle Mage out today on Steam. Uh, we're actually giving away a bunch of copies. Uh, we're also giving away, along with that, a bunch of copies to Plants vs Zombies, which is now on PlayStation. For PS3. So if you want to win any of those, take your pick. Uh, all you have to do is follow GameSpot on Twitter and uh, use hashtag GSTheLobby and let us know which game you want and also which platform. Lich them again, just to remind you, is just on the personal computer. All right, we've got a bunch more games to hop into. NFL is going to round out the show and we're going to talk a little about what we're doing at PAX. But first of all, uh, we're going to check out Infamous Second Son, Last Light. Third Strike Turbo First Light. HD <laughs> Remix like Metro Last Light Infamous. It's like a it's it's Metro but in Seattle. Uh, right after this trailer. Hawken. Name either of those two Pokemon that we're fighting. Is one of them Trubbish? Nope. Kevin? Is there a Pokemon named Trubbish? Yes. <laughs> I don't play Pokemon, I don't know. It's the garbage Pokemon. It is. Garbdor is its, uh, is no. its evolved. Yeah, I swear to God. <laughs> yeah, swear to God. I, I think it was Machamp and Lucario. Was but it? I don't really, those are outside, like 150, the original 151 I'm okay with. This gets a little bit hairy after that. Outside of that, no, no. What's no the keychain one called again? Klefki or something? Uh, sure. Is it keychain sure. Pokemon? Yeah. Yes, there is. I swear to God. Yeah, that's true. 
No, I, I can't tell you. if you're if you are think I'm being sarcastic <laughs> or. I know that there, that that exists. Okay. And I believe you. Do you know about the one that's an ice cream cone? No, Why are we showing Infamous? We're not doing the Infamous bit yet. It's just Kevin. <laughs> oh. We're talking about how this stupid is just Pokemon me playing. Is. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Pokemon fans. It's okay. Do you know what the ice cream one's called? No, you made it up. Vanille. It's called Vanille. No. Vanille. That is a character in Final Fantasy. Like, the, like not Final Fantasy Pokemon. 13's Vanille. Thank you very much. Josh, I know we've got skeleton crew back there, and you're a boss, <laughs> and you run this whole goddamn thing with Eric. Find but if somebody me ice can cream pull Pokemon. A picture of the ice cream Pokemon. I'd really appreciate it. I will eat maybe, ice cream if that happens. Maybe at the end of this infamous <laughs> Second Son, First Light, Last Light, HD Remix a bit. All right. I challenge you to say the name of this game title correctly I'll do it right now time. in the intro, which we will cut to on the Video On Demand version. Yes! Welcome back! We're here, PlayStation 4. Ken Van Ord is with us to play Hi. Infamous Second Son, First Light. Hi. Nailed You're it. playing that girl who I met in when Fetch. I played... Fetch! Is yes. this whole game Fetch Quests? Hey -o. Oh, I see what you did there. That was terrible. You gotta do it, though. What can okay. you say? So here's my favorite thing to do in the game, actually. This is Singularity. This is like your super duper ooper power. <laughs> <laughs> there it is! There it is! Oh, yep. Singularity. No context for anyone watching <laughs> the video on demand version. That's hey, just a little hey, live my magic. My favorite exactly. bit <laughs> is you, that bit there. <laughs> if you just wanted to watch the infamous stuff, this is why you should watch the lobby, because we're so organized. Because you would have gotten that joke. You are playing as Fetch here, I see. I am playing as Fetch here. This is, uh... Oh my goodness, you're just lighting up that parked car. Oh, take this, people parked calmly in your car. Oh, I guess they were... So that's how you stop a, stop a drive-by, <laughs> is you kill everybody in the area! Drive-by done. God damn it. <laughs> There's no drive-by here, just a bunch of terribly burned bodies. That's right, so this is post... You're welcome, Seattle. This is post-story here. Okay. Um, and I'm glad I get to play this now. Because, because as bad as I was at Lixham Battle Maja, <laughs> um, the good news with this is Infamous First Light is so incredibly easy that now I can look amazing. Wasn't Second Sun easy as well, though? Is yes. this easier? This is easier, really? in my opinion. So this is a standalone expansion, right? Yes, it's like it's kind of like what Far Cry Blood Dragon was yes. to Far Cry 3. So you don't necessarily need to own... Uh, well, you don't need to own uh, Infamous Second Son to play this, but uh, you're playing as Fetch, who is a character that you meet uh, in the uh, in the the main game. What what's going on here? What's, so, what's what's new? What's different? Are we just talking more of the same level? Well, she's got uh, she's got her own uh, upgrade system. Oops, wrong button. Sorry. Hit what button, button did you press? The stand in one place you press button. Press the touchpad. There you go. There we go. Cool. It doesn't like yeah. any of my button presses. What is going on? Oh well. So yes, she's got only <laughs> neon powers. Oh, he's got bomb. Okay. So in Infamous, obviously, you could you you only had your default power at the start. So she's the one who teaches bunch. who teaches Delson. Teaches um, is a those powers. strong word. Well, yeah. Don't you she, steal it from her? Oh, do you steal it from you can't her? Steal it from her, right? Straight up robble robble joint. I think so. You ha you hamburgle it from her. Kevin doesn't care. Kevin's going. Oh yeah, yeah. You're just, just sort of start blowing I, you, you do up. sort of hamburger yeah. it from her. But in here, this is all her stuff. So, so it starts with you know like a little bit of her backstory and mm. and uh, her brother. And uh, it's interesting because part of part of how they they deal with the story is a little bit different from how it was described in Second oh, Son. Oh really? So it, there's a little bit less of the I'm a you know I'm a drug dealer. Or yeah. I'm a druggie out for revenge kind of thing. And they try to give it some more context. Make her. A little more humanized, I guess. Okay. Well, um, outside of the story, because Infamous was a very mechanic. It was a very video game ass video it game. It was a video gamey video game. So, yes. is this very video gamey too? This Are you is very video gamey. Yes. Show me your map. Show me how video gamey it is. Okay. Because yeah. Infamous is what I liked about Infamous as well. But it's you know basically the entire game is you were just going from di district to district, and. Video game the crap out of you. So yeah, that's what it is. Except here, this is post game. I've done all of the side things, okay. so this stuff is just stuff that appears. So was it similar? Um, were they were they were you taking down those big um, bo uh, bases? Yeah, it's similar, but it's very it's much more limited than in Second Son. Like you only you stop the drive bys, you rescue some hostages if you want. Um, you you collect shards by doing the whole. Like you'll see, like when I when I now go into light speed, now you've got these. Uh, Little, you know, Speed like vortexes boosts. to go through. These and are basically arrows on the ground in yeah. Mario Kart. Exactly, exactly right. But the other, the other big thing is the is the challenge arenas. Okay. And uh, I'll go into a challenge arena and Ooh. kind of show you what that's about. So I'll do. 
survival. So you get to play, if you've already finished, um, if you've already played Second Son, then you get access to using Delson in these as well. Okay. Um, so if you don't own Second Son? So if you don't, know, if you don't, you don't own Second Son, that you don't get access to Delson, but that's not a huge deal. But there's, it's interesting here. So this is this is uh, sort of the battle. You know, this is the battle arena. This is, is this a know, wave based? It mode? is wave based. Um, what did you think it was? He said it was survival. I know. And there's another one where you also have to. <laughs> I was uh, hoping. Where you also have to rescue hostages. Okay. Kevin, sell me on infamous Ooh, seconds on first life because right now it seems like it's pretty limited. It's pretty limited, um, all things considered. The one, the one thing it that I liked good. at first was the challenge stuff because you're like you're moving around you're doing cool stuff um you you know you get to you know you get to shoot guys and then you have cool enemies in the in the arenas when they start coming out that are all demonic and cool okay and, like flying things and and stuff like that but then neat. after a while what you discover is is that once you unlock fully unlock your uh, i'll show you i'm trying to gonna try to get to a good spot once you fully unlock your homing missiles yeah um, do you have it, a DUP detainee hoodie? It's just yes, I do. It's just easy that's, mode. That's like saying I I I, I was prison on Guantanamo Bay and all I got was this T-shirt. Well, you're you're right now. You're, I just like that the prison system is giving out hoodies and yeah. not just like some button-up jackets, <laughs> branded <Right>. slave hoodies. <laughs> but that's the thing. Right now, that's how this game is set up. Is that you are you are showing off your powers. Um, to, to what's her face, Ms. Evil. Okay. Spoilers. The yeah. concrete maiden. That's how you killed her at the end. I assumed you did. So, so that's what's happening. Like the whole the story itself is told as a flashback. Oh, okay. Like you've oh, already okay, okay. you've already been captured for the most part. Then mm. stuff happens after that. But you know you're telling the story as a flashback, and all of these challenge levels are, are done narratively in a way where you're you're showing off what you can do. Okay. Uh, Chris, did you play Infamous Second Son? I played a bit of Infamous Second Son. Why did you stop? Here we go. I was just really, I don't know. My my sort of enthusiasm for open world, run around and do all these objective stuff, has sort of been on on a wane lately. Yeah. There's, like I tried to get in a black flag last year. I did a little bit, but it didn't quite catch for me. I don't really know. I don't know why. Yeah. Just uh, you know, you, you get these like different sort of phases in your life with your gaming. At least I do, where I like have an appetite for a certain kind of game that, mm. like now. I'm really into like playing some Civilization again, but yeah. like you know, not not so much the open world stuff. But yeah, I don't know. I did get to interview uh, the voice actress at E3 who plays Fetch, Fetch, Laura Bailey. She's great. She's also super prolific. She's like the voice of Chun Li. Oh really? In all modern Street Fighter games, she was in. She was like Lady Comstock in Bioshock Infinite. She's a big character in DBZ. <laughs> like it's tons of anime. Um, I, so yeah, I mean I. I got to play around with it and it was kind of fun, but it just, it, the combat didn't really click with me in terms of like, this is really, really satisfying. This yeah. is something that I that get inherent pleasure from. I think I really got, I, I feel the exact same way about when I play Black Flag. Uh, and I think the reason I got into this is that I was sick mm -hmm. for like three or four days and I needed something to just sponge into. Yeah. Um, and this was, this was perfect. Uh, th th I was about to say, the headshot stuff was the thing that got me into the combat in this game. Does yeah. this like, slow down. The yeah, slow like, down yeah. and you, you see and they're their, not just uh, spamming. You know, it's not, you know, there's actually a bit of skill involved in it as opposed to like, or like when you're doing the, the bits on the legs when you throw the, 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 the grenades. Like the powers you unlocked and stuff were, you know, varied in a way that at least kept you, I feel like it was distracting me a lot. Like it kept, every time I get a little bit bored, I'd unlock a new power and then you I was back on board. Play around with. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Is this, you you played you completed second yeah, son. Yeah, I completed right? second son. What you got um, on this so this. far? Are you reviewing this? I did. It's up now actually. Oh, it is? Sorry. I, I you know I I What'd you it's give it? it's okay. I gave it a 6. Okay. Um it's it's okay, but I gosh darn it. There we go. But like you'll see like I, I don't mind necessarily that a game is easy. But what kills me about this is like this is a cha this is a challenge level, right? Mm. So you, you sort of expect that there's a reason to go. But you can easily once you upgrade your homing missile thing um, in particular, you can easily sleepwalk your way through this oh, to really? diamond level and far beyond. Like, there, I got to the point where I just stopped playing certain challenges because I would, I would have three million points and I would be well past. I would be forty-five minutes in. Yeah. And I, you know, it's just like okay, I'm forty-five, 45 minutes? minutes in, and it's still really easy, and so. 
I mean, it gets harder, obviously, but I just got mm -hmm. to the point where it's like, this is getting tedious. I can do this one spammy technique, and so therefore there I, don't, I don't feel like, if I'm comparing myself on the leaderboards, which you can do, it, it just sort of felt like, th there's, it's not really a meaning, meaningful comparison to me because I don't feel like we're comparing how good we are. I feel like we're comparing how quickly we learned that you can spam certain right. techniques. Okay. Or how much time um, you were willing to spend continuing to do it. Yeah, totally. And uh, the story stuff, how long is that? Did you spend most of your time doing this? I'd say if you just do story, probably yeah. two hours. Oh, wow, okay. Maybe. How um, much is it? $15. Okay. Uh, standalone. I could be wrong. Somebody correct me if I'm wrong. They will. They're, that's what the internet is for. Correcting our work. Our shoddy work. <laughs> <laughs> but, I mean, I like it well enough. I just think that, um, in all things considered, there's no morality system. Um, somebody said to me on... on on Twitter this morning, well, of course there's no morality system. She's she's out on a revenge quest to, you know, be mad at uh, drug dealers yeah. that that ruined her and and her relationship with her brother. That sounds pretty her brother's life. But they actually retcon the story a little bit um, to the point where it, it, it's she sort doesn't of, have a brother and she doesn't. Well, no, like she drugs, still has a brother. She's still the, on drugs and <laughs> drugs are great. <laughs> the circ the circumstances her of his death. Yeah, as described in Second Son, are are, are differently described, are okay. differently shown here. It's weird because she got um, her powers from a crystal meth addiction. That's the whole story of the well, game. Well, they don't they don't they don't get yes, rid of it. I mean, yeah. that that aspect so of the meth story is that still she turns there. into a superhuman, and that's the moral <laughs> of the story. Is if you take meth, you too could be a superhero. Not yeah. even once, but if you do it once, maybe do it like a million times, because then you'll at least have superpowers. There you go. I'm going to do and singularity. Just Nobody listens to what we're saying. We're terrible, terrible people. <laughs> uh, all right, 6.0 on GameSpot.com. Kevin Van Oort, I think we are done with infamous Second Son First Life. Do a oh. singularity. I d I d I'm doing a One singularity. One singularity. Boom. Look and there it goes. Sweet, sweet larity. I like how the singularity knows only to pull in the guys that are bad. And not you? Yeah, and it's not you're full of meth. Or just anything yeah. else. Meth Your body is 20% like, meth. Like, it, it knows what's bad. Yeah. Yeah. All right, Kevin Van Oort, thank you very much for coming oh, on. Oh, always, I love being Infamous here. Second Son First Light, and for playing uh, uh, Lich and Battle Yeah, Mage. for sucking at Battle Magia. When will the review mm -hmm. for Battle Mage be up again? I don't know, yeah. um, because I'm still playing it, but I'm hoping in the next couple days. Cool, awesome. Yep. Uh, all right, we've got a bunch more games to play today on the lobby. Uh, next one up is NFL 15. Eric Tay is going to come on. Uh, I think he's playing me. We're going to have to see. I oh, brought an American football jersey. Of course Sorry. he did. A Please never jersey. do that again. Yeah. I call it American football. Uh, but first of all, we're going to have a look at a different sport. See if you can guess which sport it is in the four seconds before the trailer starts. Lacrosse. Hello again, everybody. I'm Ernie Johnson, along with Shaquille O'Neal on 2K Sports, and the NBA season is about to begin. Well, I'm sailing. What does it sound like when he hits one of those threes? Yak em. Anything else? Splaka Katayao. How do you spell? Yak em. Yeah. Y A K K E M. <laughs> Yak em. Whoa. I learn something new every day. It's that time of year again. NFL 15, the 15th NFL game. Say Eric Madden. Tay. Say Madden. Is he still around? Yeah. I thought they got rid of him That's when they got rid of Tiger Woods on the golf games. Madden 15. 
Are you ready for some football? Football. Yes, I'm ready. Or as you Party. Europeans call it, American football. My friend, Eric Tay. Handball. How you doing? Doing all right. Uh, very nice of you to wear the Niners. We lost the Super Bowl jersey. You know, we discussed this the other day. <laughs> Granted, you've been doing lost. your half-life, half-marathon. Marathon, yeah. Uh, that you were going to wear a jersey. I was. And, you know, this would look, you know, less awkward. Yeah. But it's okay. It I will represent the 49ers It looks fine. There was once a show on GameSpot.com where the host wore strictly sports jerseys and no one ever thought it was weird. It's <laughs> a good point. No. It was literally Rich. on right here. <laughs> yeah. Right there? Rich, yeah. Rich yeah. Gallup. Behind that wall. God rest his uh, soul. But we're going to, I guess you're going to be the Niners. I like the yeah, Niners. Yeah, of course. But I'm going to be a team befitting the Niners. Um, who team, should I be? Are you going to try to New conquer the Niners? Are you going to go for a conquer move? I feel like there's only other t- there's only one team I can pick. The Steelers are a 91. Wow. Vikings, Vikings baby. Vikes. AP. We are definitely not all Madden. You, you might want to press B. You guys are definitely we're, choosing we're the like, exact same teams that Problem and I played as. I think we should go pro. You should go stream. pro. I'm not going to. Oh, you can go rookie. Yeah, that's good too. Okay, we'll go pro. All yeah. right, what do you think? One, one quarter? Yeah. Of NFL, something like that. Madden 15? You could probably get two quarters in. Yeah. yeah. Half. So? A half? Like a half. Yeah. Half. Eric Tay, what's different about do, this year's Madden game? Do the easier one. <laughs> what? Try going left. Ah, whatever. We'll figure it out. Yeah, uh, right. I think there's a more of an emphasis on defense now. Okay. Uh, you're going to see, uh, as you know, if you guys didn't watch the stream earlier, so we're going to explain some of these, but if you did, bear with me. Um, there's going to be some queue ups, you know, like if you're on the defensive line, you can actually, like, you know, press X or A, it'll kind of. Uh, trigger for you to you know press that button like almost like a quick time event yeah and that'll help you you know do a swim move swim move or like okay. shed the shed the tackle so that you can pass rush the quarterback mm-hmm. um, and so what you're telling me is they've changed very specific things about this game like last year that's always the way they do it man yeah, yeah. you yeah. gotta add uh, little nuggets. the other thing that so we had this live stream on earlier I was uh, chatting with a pro Madden player hmm. uh, Eric Problem Wright and he was saying uh, it's more Greg it's more of a defensive-based game this year. Uh, like he was saying, quarterbacks will now like have more errant throws mm. uh, that don't just go to, to opposing uh, defenders. They go t- into space. They go somewhere else. They they have a, a wider range of errors. So you want to be looking at your stats for like for different pass accuracies a little bit more. Uh, yeah, and defense definitely a bit of an influence mm. this time around. I mean, you got. Look at these Richard guys. Sherman in, on the cover and uh, the stuff Eric was talking about at the line and all right. Well, we'll see that when the game starts. This uh, we presentation this. wise looks pretty it looks great. Real good. Yeah. yeah, yeah, better than last year. Look at this guy. Sweet mock turtlenecks. Jim, Jim Harbaugh, is, is Jim man. Jim Harbaugh gonna be Harbaugh. screaming his goddamn face off. Oh, I can do th- that. I'll do it for him. Okay. Yeah. Let's really? go Vikings. You're gonna go Let's full Harbaugh out here. Yeah, just kind of yell. I don't have the khakis on. So you know I already Listen, made a mistake. It's not what's on your body; it's what's in your heart. Okay, so I just got to like. It's what's in your body. It <laughs> come, and comes out of your body, in the form <laughs> of anger words. Oh God. And maybe some spittle. All right. Okay. And like clipboards that you just Let's do it. vomit out onto the field. Let's go Vikings! That's really good. Here we go. Hey Eric, does your team uh, have a song that was written by Prince? No. All right. Well, you can suck it. Danny, why did you choose the Vikings? Uh, my, my buddy Dale Cantwell back home in Ireland is a big Minnesota Vikings fan, and uh, Matt Castle sucks. Um, oh, what? They're putting real video of people's faces in here? Uh, and I went to both um, uh, games in Wembley in England last year, and the, one of them was the Vikings against the uh, Redskins, and actually won. It was the second, only one of two games they won, I think, in the... Regular yeah, season. won more than two games. So was I your like offensive plan give ball to Adrian Peterson and then just sit back and watch? Yep. I'm going to give it to Greg James. He got the team oh, on his back, though. Oh, man. So uh, I don't know if you noticed it, but like when you hiked it, like yeah. it was telling me to right trigger like right away. Oh, really? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll try to, like, we'll see if it comes up again. Did it yeah. rumble or did it just yeah, come up? Yeah, it rumbles. Okay. It rumbles. And then it's like, if you had the reactions, it'll be like perfect or like fair. Right. Or like poor, kind of. What number is Greg James again? 81, right? No, yeah, it might be. Oh, see, it said late there. Oh, oh my goodness! He He's got the team on his back. He got in that there. Wasn't, that definitely that was wasn't vicious. Jennings. I know, I'm going to say it for every single time I do it. Simpson editing. pulling it down. He's got that catching in traffic stat. Oops, did I pick a play oh, bounced, literally bounced off the other guy's helmet and he held onto it. That was a quite Do you a think play. I'd never play a Madden game? Yeah. What an idiot. <laughs> 
Good it's three first downs in a row. Oh, he is marching. Come on, man. I'm he from Ireland. Marching. We don't even... This game is so far, and we refer to it with the country name first. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> hey, to identify hey, game's not over. Yeah. Game's not you, over. Wait, so you call it here. American Madden NFL 15? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I'm going to call an audible. Gun double flex. Do slants. Let's see some hot routes up in here. Hot route. Hot route. My corner needs to follow him. He's not. Quick. It's audible not shift. Yep. Just close. Stop, stop messing with me, you Matt Castle. trying to go. Come on. He forgot the how to hike. Delay of game him. Del hike four, the ball. Delay three, of game him, baby. Two. Oh. He manages to hike the ball, folks. What a victory oh. here for this Vikings offense. All right. Oh, man. With that kind of tenacity, there's no way the Niners are going to be able to stop them. They were able to hike the ball. Hey. It's that, <laughs> it's that kind of team cohesiveness. You really need to succeed in the NFL these days. Pretty sure the game knew he was talking crap to me. So, you know. Oh, really? Yeah. You got well, real like, tired of well, it. I'm, like, like I'm so happy that your one success was that I didn't, I couldn't hike the ball. Oh, see, I said perfect there. Oh! Oh! oh. 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 And repping the jersey. Mm. Mm. Who is that? Number 99. Get out of my castle, boy. E <laughs> Get out of my castle. <laughs> All right. I always thought it was what numbers Greg Cassell? Jennings? I'm sure, they, I'm sure they told me in the chat. 15? 15. All right. Now he knows who I'm going to throw the ball. I think he's going to pass to throw 15. The ball. I don't care. He's in motion. Oh, it's too late. He's on B. Oh, Greg Jennings! Great. That's, that's great. I, that's that's awesome. where I want to be. Good. That's where I want to be. <laughs> Fourth and 13, be. baby. So, that's the sweet spot. So the question is, do you do the, the typical Madden thing, or are you going to go for the, you I think know, you doing the... Oh, it's a 54-yarder, though. That's pretty far. But who's, I got to... Who's, who's if your leg? kicking skills are as good as Chris's here, yeah, uh, then a 54 yarder might as well be a 17 yarder or a million yarder because <laughs> you really? ain't making it. Oh, sugar. All right. You it doesn't even look like it's going to make it. Pull it back and then push it forward when the meter goes really? to the top part of the meter. Oh, God, this is. I really should have practiced this at least once. Oh, Not no, bad. you might get it. Way better he than no, my Be short. Sure. That is definitely short. Short. Sure. All right, good. Way better than my earlier efforts, Danny. Teddy Bridgewater. You. you suck, TB. All right. Colin and his sweet Did tattoos. Did they ever settle that problem where the tattoo artists were like, yo, yeah. don't know, be using I, our art in your video yeah. game. I think Colin Kaepernick's <laughs> got approved, though. That's great. Like they, I think they came out and so actually said that. So he's the only that. tattooed player in the NFL where, like, 48% <laughs> of players are tattooed? Perhaps in this game. <laughs> they look real good. I don't know about you, they but they look okay. pretty good. I don't know. I'd have to see a side-by-side. -side. They had the same problem with CM Punk. He, has, he had the Pepsi logo tattooed oh, on did his. He? Yeah, yeah. Why did he have the Pepsi logo tattooed he's on his? He's straight edge, was yo. That some, was that some Peter Moore action? Oh, please catch that. Like, in his youth, he was a spokesman oh. for Pepsi. He tried to, like, <laughs> make, he went all in on a Pepsi bid, and it just didn't work out. He did one of those competitions where if you get the Pepsi tattoo logoed on your hand, on your arm, you get a year's free worth of Pepsi. Do you remember that when they when Turok came out? Really? When Turok 2 or 3 came out, they had a thing where if you changed your name to Turok, you got like $10,000, and some dude did it. <laughs> what? Yeah. Dude's like named <laughs> no. Turok Smith. No. Yeah. Oh my goodness. For 10 grand, and it was probably like 10 grand before that tax. That is super weird. Yeah. If you name your child Turok, we'll give you 10 grand. That'd be worse. I like the part of the run where Gore just went, let his body go limp, limp? on the back of yeah. another one, on the back of his blocker. I like and the did part. like a little fish wiggle. <laughs> He's like, take me, take me forward. Uh, yeah, why not? Tay, why That's don't weird. you pick one that you don't suck so hard at? Come on, man. Danny, hit pick him with what? the fire zone. Pick what that I don't suck at so much? Come on, look, why the line's right 36. there. 36. Why don't you Listen, he's stop. just burning, he's just eating up the clock. Worrying about it, and let me just. Play I didn't this realize game. it was going to be a six-minute quarter. You guys should probably just play one quarter. Vernon Davis. Oh, flag. Yeah. No holding here. Because your whole team's got VD. Venereal I feel like up. that just was kidding. one of those new defensive fouls that the refs be Personal calling all the time. Face masking. Oh, yeah. why are you face masking? Hands to the face. Damn it. Why are you MMAing me? Which button did I? I'm press? gonna accept the, that. Which one's the fake? The face masking button. I don't know. So I can press it. You twice need as connect. Hard you need connect for that. Oh, and yeah. then you just put your face in front, your hand in front of your t uh, buddy's face. You can't see me. That would be cool. What is this, John is Cena? <laughs> that would be cool if Kinect, like, enabled in-game, like, you know, if you are jostling them or, like, whacking their controller, and it could, it would track that <laughs> and then ha make in-game things happen. That would be good for the next Mutant League football game that they Connect will definitely three. make. Oh, definitely Mutant League, League football. football. Man. That's a long time mm -hmm. ago. Mm-hmm. 
Been uh, a long time since the Mutant League. I'm, I'm not a big Madden guy, but I did play a lot of uh, Blitz the League. Blitz was good too. Blitz is pretty good. As in, I only played that one where you could shatter people's testicles though. Oh, the, that one, the newer one. Yeah, yeah. Blitz, the, the, yeah, the silly one. It was good fun. Oh, no way! No way, bro! Where am I Whoa! going? Oh. Cutting it back to the midfield, way, unorthodox yeah, way play. Way to bank some negative yards there. Yeah. I was uh, trying to style and didn't know that that was going to do the spin backwards. <laughs> I thought I was going to do a little cut jump, or jump cut. Look at this. That's In an fine. unorthodox move, he decided to go run back, back towards all of the guys. I wanted to give you a chance, you know? Third and nine for this Niner squad. Handily picked up the th last third down situation, or one for one, or maybe two for two. I haven't been keeping that close track. Oh, Did I almost he's going to psych you? him out. Psych him out with some, call some play calling. Oh, that's a pick. Oh, throws almost. into traffic. Uh, oh, we got not going to happen. I really would think, like Chris? one of you guys to get some points during okay. this segment. All right. Let's go Vikings. Let's win. Yeah, but only the in the form here. of a dramatic touchdown that you do by faking this field goal. Is he faking it? Is he faking it? Fake it or make it. Boom. Bill Dawson, that strong looks, leg, Dawson. That looks good. Count him. And it is. That's three for the San Francisco 49ers over the Minnesota Viking Mans. How we do it? It's very unexciting, but we play for the W. I'm going to kick your ass. <laughs> that's my guess. Did that's you just onside receive? You totally onside receive. Yeah. I don't, don't need, need I don't need a defense. <laughs> woo, 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 woo. <laughs> All right. Where's the Hail Mary button? Danny, oh, really? you've got you've got to work the clock, man. You got a minute thirty left. Yeah, you said you want clock is it, management. Is it two quarters or one quarter? Just one quarter. Just I think, one quarter. At this All point. right, he's I got a know. minute thirty-two. Unless you guys want to want to extend it. We'll see. How about if you re if one you minute thirty-two is just enough time to get two touchdowns? <laughs> <laughs> he's dropping back, throws Finally off his back foot. It's into the oh. melee. Oh. There's like four dudes in San Francisco there. How do you guys not intercept that? I know. It was like a jump ball. You this guys is for free. You yeah. guys, Patrick you Willis, all of you, gentlemen. Eric Reed. Is this showing all of the 49ers that were closer to that pass than the Vikings <laughs> receiver? Pretty much. They should do that thing <laughs> where they tell, where they have them say what universities they're from, and then they make up fake universities like mm -hmm. So Hard University. Mm -hmm. Kraken. Kraken Hogwarts was probably the best one ever. <laughs> hey man, A. A. Ron. Was what that who was said that? Guy's that? Name? When it was names, one of the names was A. A. Ron. Who was the guy who said Ball So Hard University? I don't remember. All right. Who was the guy who said cra his name was Kraken, Kraken and he Hogwarts? went to Hogwarts? I forget his name. Oh. How quickly our memories fade. I'm just going to Google Kraken <laughs> Hogwarts and he'll tell me. <laughs> Third and ten, Danny. The hopes of an entire frigid northern central state in the United States of America stand oh, on you. No way, bro! What? And he's got it! Did you see and that? Did you see it. that pick? Did you see that? It's not a pick if you're on offense. I can't believe. Are you talking about the receiver you picked? I don't know maybe? your terminology. I've only been watching this sport for like nine months. I can't believe. Did you believe see that he slam dunk? Slam dunk. Three, <laughs> three points, baby. Oh my goodness, that was some Kraken great ABS. That was pretty good though. On the Panthers, Greg Hardy. Greg Hardy, man, Kraken Hogwarts. Oh yeah, thanks. Yeah. Sitting on it. Thanks. Yeah. Get you got all that field. <laughs> I hit the wrong button. All right. <laughs> That was as good as my spin move Your spin for negative move yards. Good. Oh, you just got a hell You didn't see that. I saw all of it. <laughs> you didn't see that. <laughs> oh my goodness, you oh, all caught it. I was afraid. On? I was legitimately afraid. You're just throwing terrible passes. There's not one person on the stream that doesn't hope that I don't catch this. <laughs> That's true. Everyone's hoping. Everyone is saying Hail Marys or whatever their preferred. Josh says we're going to end it after this. Josh, we'll end it when I'm winning. We'll oh, end it when I hail the Mary. I got to say my prayers. Oh, no. Oh, yeah. Oh, pick a pick. Fumble, get the fumble. Eric Reed, take him with you. <laughs> God damn it. At least someone no, got something. No, I got 21 something. seconds, Josh. We're not leaving Do until your Hail we Mary. Give Do your Hail Mary. Yeah, you better Hail Mary. I'll sit everyone up front real stupidly. All right, I'll go. Goal line. I go special teams. Yeah, just give one person back there to defend yeah. the play. Can I do a Can I do a punt return? I feel like you're gonna get to me before the Hail right. Mary. I'm takes gonna blitz place. you. 
Right. Yeah, I still feel like I'm going to get in. hit before. If you don't get this, you don't Come deserve. on, Kaepernick's got oh, that speed rating. You're oh, nimble. Why is Brandon Lloyd on his own? Golly. I'm also going to foul one of the players immediately, okay? Danny is jamming on the face mask button. Oh, oh come on. You should have used a little oomph break tackle there. Oh, All right, okay, I'm not. Timeouts. Oh, timeout. Yeah. See how he did it emphatically? Out? Really? <sighs> yeah, I'm, I'm here to score more points. I thought we discussed this already. Yeah, we did. That's true. Hey, guys, that blitz worked so good last time. Let's just do it again. Lloyd, Bolden. Bar is going to sit in front of Are we going to Stevie? We're just going to force to Stevie. I see him. Stevie! Oh, there it is. Stevie! I'm going to tackle that guy. Oh, he's going for the corner. Thanks, Danny. Sweet dance. Show me the leg wiggle, Stevie. What's that dude's name? Stevie Johnson? Word. Former Buffalo Bill traded, I think, a fourth round for him. Boom. <laughs> Ran up the... Yeah. Very unnecessary there. Yeah. You're lucky he didn't just jump backwards like he did last time. <laughs> oh, I made sure I <laughs> didn't Or run do out of bounds at the pile on. I made sure. Uh, for anyone who's interested in more of uh, delicious Madden 15 action, of course, uh, you guys did a stream earlier this morning. Yep. Yeah, that'll, that'll be up on the site. It's a long stream with a Madden pro player. Lots of questions answered. Lots of insights into what makes this year's Madden slightly different than mm. the other, than previous years. What some new sort of tweaks are from the perspective of someone who plays a crap ton of Madden. Cool. Also, I think the review, hopefully today, I think, Sweet. is what they're aiming for, but if not, yeah. today or tomorrow. Madden's out today, right? Yes. Fantastic. All right, thanks very much, guys, mm -hmm. for coming on and playing. Uh, apologies you. to everyone, all my Minnesota brethren, uh, for, uh, for, for doing a bad Losing? Thing. Losing badly. Almost hit the camera. Failing uh, to score. We'll be back in a second. We're going to talk it. about some PAX nonsense. Totally of course, PAX <laughs> Penny Arcade Expo is on. Uh, this weekend. This weekend. We're going on Thursday. Uh, we got a bunch of panels on, and we've got a trailer for one of those panels. Let's check it out. Hello, I'm President Snow Dwyer, welcoming you to the Games Journalism Hunger Games, Memexville. Games journalism is dying, which is why every year we take tributes to ensure that the strong will survive. This year's districts have paid tribute. They are... From IGN, Gregory, Gregory Miller, Miller, Brian, Brian Altano, Hashtag Beyond. From Giant Bomb, Jeffrey Gersman, Daniel Reichel, HB. From Rev3 Games, Tara Law, Nicholas Robinson. From Screw Attack, Craig Skistimus, Sean Bolin. From Twitch TV, Amazon. Jonathan Carnage, Justin Flynn, and from GameSpot, Christopher Waters, Merry Kish, Hometown Advantage. Tributes will battle in both team and solo fights of various couch competitive games until a single district is left. The winner takes home the pride of the industry, plus a really shit trophy we made in an afternoon. It's really shitty. So come and support your tributes. 12.30 on Friday at PAX Prime, Sasquatch Theatre. Shout. Scream, and may the VODs be ever in your favor. That is the Games Journalism Hunger Games Mimux Viva on this Friday, <laughs> 12.30 in the Sasquatch Theater. A very uh, serious endeavor uh, Absolutely. If you're in PAX and you're a GameSpot fan, please, by all means, turn up and pip us up. Because uh, it sounds like IGN and Giant Bomb and Screw Attack are gonna send a bunch of people our way. Mary that. and I need your help. Yes, We're it's up to win. you guys. All I'm doing is picking the games and talking with a terrible British accent. You actually I'm the have trainer. To, you're the I trainer. Train them, yeah. <laughs> you're oh, the man. drunk. <laughs> you're, you're, She's gonna yell at us. You're not yeah. even gonna be there because you were setting up our stage, right? Yeah. We have our then, stage. Tell us about we'll the stage. We'll see. I'm gonna try to sneak in. But the stage we're gonna have Sector G. <laughs> God yeah, damn it. That's Sector G? It. Yeah, Sector G. You gotta explain what Same Sector G is. Yeah, um, but we, we will be at a restaurant, I think like half a block or down the block. I don't have the address, sorry, I'm the worst. Um, <laughs> but you guys can stop it's by. It's the Metropole restaurant if you, you want go. to Google it. Um, Good job, Chris. There's gonna be like, I think, some food, some, some beverages. Uh, I hear there's we'll gonna be hangover breakfasts. There's gonna yeah, be pancakes, pancakes and stuff, yeah. yeah. Yeah, so. all sorts of food, hanging out with GameSpot people, playing games, winning prizes, and then we're going to do a live show. Yeah, Saturday and Sunday, mm -hmm. uh, from noon until uh, 2 p.m. Am I doing Saturday and you're doing Sunday? Correct! Okay, cool. Because on Saturday, I'm hosting a panel. Which panel? <gasps> the Firaxis Mega Panel. <laughs> Ooh, 
That's right. Uh, it's <laughs> Civilization Beyond Earth. They're going to be like showing off a bunch of new gameplay, talking about uh, some of the new early, early game and late game stuff in Beyond Earth. I got to play it actually earlier th this yesterday, and <laughs> it's really cool. So yeah, a bunch of Civ developers and I will be talking about that. That's going to be televised on GameSpot, Sweet. I believe. Or yes. at least art. Eventually, I believe it will right? be archived Eventually. on GameSpot. You'll be able to watch it next week. So if you're at PAX, come on down. But if you're not, you'll be able to watch it. Yes, just ours, later. Ours will be. Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll have it up. Uh, the the games journalism Hunger Games one will be up like probably let's say the Monday or Tuesday um, after PAX. Uh, well, I guess PAX is Monday. Uh, in fact, I'm doing a second panel with uh, Carlos Rodizel, uh, GameSpot's own Rodella. previous alumni. Uh, about um, games you played uh, in your childhood. That's on at 12.30 yeah. as well in the Sasquatch Theater, so same as the Friday, same Are time in theater. Are those secrets, Danny, or do you know what I know what games I played when I was a child. As a child. Yeah. Are Hope you going to admit it now, or? I just played Lula VB for 15 years. <laughs> you guys have that here? I have no idea what you just said. Lula Virtual Babe? Are you going to have to bring out that no guy? No idea what you just What's said. What's that called? The no. You're no. Atari. <laughs> no, it's not an Atari. <laughs> Commodore Mega 600. Keyboard 64. Sorry. Keyboard 64. <laughs> but Mary, you're not just doing uh, the, the games most press Hunger Games one. You're doing another one, too. The most important one is the Hunger Games. But in addition <laughs> to the Hunger Games, I'm also on a panel with uh, ladies in games media. Surviving and thriving, yo. That's correct. Because not only did we survive, but we, we thrived. Uh, yeah, and you also have Tara on that one as well, so you guys are going to have to sprint over real hard to the Games Press. That's right. Tara afterwards. and I are on both. We're going to be, uh, we will be at both. Uh, and I'm excited to have her. We also have Naomi Kyle from IGN. Um, that's Neha from GameSpot. She's an executive producer here. Jessica Chobot. Um, and Megan Farouk Manish. Oh, she actually did it. You did it. Jeez. I did. Yeah, well it's done. great. It's great I've been name. practicing. Sweet. Uh, yeah. So yeah, that'll be great. Uh, yeah, yeah. Got some great folks on uh, that. It's uh, that's gonna be fun. I'm yeah. gonna miss it. So that's gonna be recorded as well, right? Yes, it will be recorded. We'll post that up later. So no, no big deal. Sweet. It's all right, Dan. Tay, you gotta break down this whole thing, right? The half this set coming on the some, truck. Some of this stuff is going. Mm. Luckily, we got the truck to come tomorrow, so we wouldn't have to break our backs today. But cool. yeah, some of this stuff. Josh included in the back. We uh, got to start packing. Very You've been soon. to packs a bunch of times, right? Prime. Me? Yeah. This will be my second time. All right. That's a bunch. This is my second Prime. Yeah. My like fifth packs. Yeah, I've been to East twice. Yeah. But never done, never done Prime. Not Prime. You done it before? Second Prime. Yeah? yeah. You went on your own last time. Yes. Nice. For Were you working days. that one? Um, I worked. Technically, it was working. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Work and fun. Sure. Yeah. I, I, you know, I wrote it off on my taxes. So <laughs> well, that's, nice work. That's working. As far as the Internal Revenue Service thinks, or as Albert <laughs> Einstein referred to them, the Great Dragon. Really? Yes. That's great. I or learned my that at the Chabot Science Center yesterday. Those <laughs> mother efforts. Yesterday. Yes. Wait, you were you took a day off work to go see a go to a science museum? No, that's where the Civ event was. Oh, that's what it you was were at, at the science museum. Okay. It was dope. Sure. We went to the planetarium and they had Civ projected on the roof oh, with really? like a star oh, field awesome. in the background. That's it was basic. Cool. That doesn't sound like work. That's excellent. That's job, guys. All right, so that's all our PAX panels. Uh, make sure you're following us on Twitter for uh, all details on that if you're heading up to Seattle. And if you are not, then we will have that on GameSpot.com next week. Are we doing an episode of Lobby next week? Yes. I we are? I heard that's the word. Yes. Okay. There'll always be a lobby exactly. forever. Uh, and it'll be great. Is Cynthia within earshot? Yes. Because we gave away a bunch of codes for Lichdom Battle Mage on PC and yeah. also um, Plants vs. Zombies Garden Warfare That's on the one. PS3 and PS4. Correct. I don't have access to who won them, so I don't have a clue who won them. But we will DM you. Yeah, we'll DM you if you want. But congratulations on winning. <laughs> or if or if Cynthia is within earshot. <laughs> There's some Cynthia's weird bird in your within earshot. earshot. Ah. It's not happening. <laughs> Shut it down. How good would it be if we got her to shout? The usernames across the office. It would be pretty all right. I'd be down with that. I'm waiting for the pitter patter of footsteps. I think you're going to be waiting a while. I don't think it's coming. No. Nope. I think we have to close, shut the show down. Yeah, I think it's. Uh, uh, God damn it! I'm the only one worth a watch. <laughs> See? God damn it. This is. Are you? What are you saying? I don't. Half-life, half marathon. Probably going to start that in a couple of minutes. If you want to <laughs> hang out 
Uh, uh, thanks to everyone who's donated to that as well. We raised almost 7,000 for Project Open Hand. By what? Half Life. Yeah. That's awesome. That's I know, right. it's ridiculous. That's okay. We went for $500 and we raised $500 within 50 minutes of the stream starting. Fantastic. Yeah, yeah good so, uh, job, Danny. A bunch of really cool people. Uh, Thank you guys. Uh, donated. Yeah. Uh, yeah, and you guys hung out as well last night. So yeah, we did. We've had some fun. fun. We have done uh, push ups for charity, yeah. squats for charity. Wow. Uh, Health we did dances. And uh, we turned down for what? what? We got real drunk two nights in a row we in the office. We have been drinking. We Charity. ate a full crab. Yeah, we ate a full crab. That was weird. <laughs> that was legit weird. A full crab? Yeah. yeah. Full crab. It's not like crabs are that big. You're saying it like I ate a full pig or something. Like we ate <laughs> one it entire. Was, it wasn't like crab. a dinker. It wasn't like a dinky crab. It was. The head it had was a like giant brain. Big. The head was a like this big. A giant brain. I ate the like, brain. There are many brain. things that crabs have. Brain. Giant the brain. brains are That's not one of them. That's where it kept its secrets. <laughs> it was a lot of. You should do you know, good brain. Shit about your crab. Good cholesterol. Ordered the crab. Good cholesterol. Alexis ordered the crab. Yeah. He used one of those things from. RNG Lounge, you got used one of those things where you would basically Postmates. just get anyone to bring you anything from any store, and they brought us a friggin' crab. It was Postmates. great. What anyway, a world we live in. If you want to watch us play episode one and episode two and finish out that ridiculous half marathon, uh, it's twitch.tv forward slash Daniel Dwyer, or we'll have it on gamespot.com forward slash chat um, uh, after this bad boy. All right, we're going to peace out. If you won those codes, apologies, you will get a DM about it. Uh, thanks very much, everyone, for watching the lobby this week, uh, and we will be back next week. Uh, but yeah, check us out at Prime. And the Pearl! Thanks, Prime!